Today I'm going to teach you how to make a peanut butter English muffin, which sounds super simple, like you know how to toast an English muffin and put peanut butter on it, but we're going to make it a little bit more exciting than that. So first, uh, you'll need English muffins. And I'm going to go with a grain because it's healthier than just like your traditional white English muffin. So I strongly suggest going with a grain if you can. And I only want a half and I'm going to make my husband a whole. So just remember if it's too much food, you can always just do a half an English muffin. You don't have to eat the whole thing. They keep just fine. So I'm going to get those going in the toaster. And English muffins take a long time to toast. So I'm going to double toast them because I like mine to be like actually toasted. And while that toasts, and I'm going to toast it on the bagel setting, I'm going to chop up some strawberries. Mine have already been washed. They're ready to go. And I'm going to start dicing those up. You can use any fruit you want on this, although I strongly suggest berries. Blueberries are my favorite. Strawberries are my husband's favorite. Raspberries are awesome. So whatever fruit you like or whatever fruit you can get works, works great on this. So we'll wait for those to toast and we'll chop up our fruit and we'll go from there. So now that my English muffins are toasted, like I said, I really like them toasty. So I'm going to add peanut butter. I strongly suggest that you do an organic peanut butter, an all natural peanut butter. In this case, we're in the middle of a global pandemic and you might just have to be like me and get whatever peanut butter you can get really matter whatever one you like and we're gonna add peanut butter you add as much or as little as you want and coat your English muffins perfect and then I'm just gonna pile the fruit on there kind of push it into the peanut butter so it stays so you can eat it and doesn't all fall off especially if you're doing blueberries They'll roll right off you. I'm going to push them into that peanut butter a little bit. And then I'm going to top them with almonds. So you have a couple options here. We eat this a lot at my house, so I buy giant bags of already sliced up almonds, which works great but you don't want to spend the money on that or have them go to waste if you don't eat almonds a lot. So you can always buy smaller bags of whole almonds and you can chop them up yourself and then put them in a little Tupperware and they, they last wonderfully. So you can meal prep those and just put them in little Tupperwares and they really do keep a long time. Just like they're sliced, it'll be cheaper and you don't have to have so many almonds. So I'm just taking these and sprinkling it on top. Look at how beautiful this is. You got your fruit and your almonds, peanut butter, and your green English muffin. Perfect. This is going to be excellent. I hope you enjoy.